Kim's got a floater. I'm in my coffee. I'm in a cool star shape in my coffee. Wow. Okay, so Kim, what were you just complaining about there a second ago in that last video? My arm was too was sore after holding the camera for too long. So you're complaining that you're too puny and weak to hold the camera, this tiny little camera, <coughs> for any length of time, yes? Yeah, I've got guns. Kim, do, Kim show, show those guns. Good guns. Yeah. Okay, so Kim, coffee down, coffee down. Okay, could you pick up the Nikon, uh, my D700? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine the D700 is this video camera here. And we're going to have it so it's mounted on Kim where she doesn't have to use her hands to hold it in any way. And that is by using a mini tripod, this one. The Pro Photo Mini thing. And we're going to stick it on Kim. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick this mini micro tripod, which is actually very well made. It's uh, proper metal and it fits into this little bag like this. Um, and we're going to use it on Kim so that she can hold this camera here without having to worry about whether her arm is going to break. Because at the moment she's holding it with one hand very unsteadily. Um, so what we need to do is we're going to open up three of the legs, which just twist and open like that. And the other leg is going to be going into the bum bag part of Kim. So watch this. Okay, so we're going to stick that against your chest. Right. And then that goes in there. And then we're going to stick a camera on top. And uh, let go of your hand. Oh, this is quite scary. Okay, so... It's not going to work on me. It needs to go into my belly. No, yeah, it, I think it's a safe no, option. No, this, this, this needs to go into the side like that. All right. But I would still say, recommend that you still put your camera strap around your neck. Yeah, yeah, so you still put your camera strap around your neck, but now Kim is effectively holding the camera uh, against her chest like that, and it's just not moving anywhere. So that's no hands videography there. And you can look straight into the, the kind of... Uh, oh. But yeah, I would say that's, that's not bad compared to like, if you were... Badder. Yeah, it helps you fair. Compared to having to hold the, the uh, what's this, the fig rig the whole time. See, you've got two hands to get rid of the wasp. How brilliant is that? So that is just using the little bag there. See, because it goes in there, that's it sorted. Go for a walk, Kim. <laughs> okay, good try, good try, Kim. Yeah, uh, this, this is man's toy only. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, so in comparison to the fig rig, uh, which costs like two hundred and fifty pounds, and you would always have to hold it with one hand like that. Uh, for me, maybe not so much on my skinny girlfriend Kim, where it's probably just going straight past her side. This is doing very well. I would imagine maybe after a while you might get a little bit of a sore neck if you're doing it for a long period of time. But if it's generally just like panning shots, and you don't want to have this kind of vibration of your hands, you're effectively using your body as the panning motion there. So again, it's not your hands which will be out here vibrating or anything like that. And it's, I would say this is very securely. Obviously it'll probably move whenever you breathe. So if I go, there's a little bit of movement in it. So you probably just want to make sure you don't breathe and you just go smoothly. <laughs> panning around like that. Uh, so I think the fact that I've got two hands free, well, not there, but two hands free to work on the focus and the the zoom, I could do, uh, was it focus pull it? No, was it when you go in and zoom out at the same time? Uh, like what they do in JAWS. Uh, so now you've got your hands free to do that. So I think that with its strange little funny bum bag thing, is a bit of a winner. You do have to kind of walk around a little bit like an idiot. Actually, I think if you have, after a while, you get enough confidence to just kind of, just walk around. You probably end up having bruises. Yeah, probably end up having bruises at the side of your tummy. But again, if you're really into doing your filmmaking or whatever, you can take those bruises. Or you just have to get abs of steel, unlike me. Okay, cool. Done.